Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and we're going to go over the activation process for the DJI Phantom 4. Now, before you get started, you want to make sure that you've already charged your batteries in your copter and in your remote so that they're all ready to go. You don't have any problems with that. And we're going to go ahead and get started by taking off the gimbal clamp here because we're going to power on the copter and we don't want the camera to turn on with the gimbal clamp on. On our remote, we're going to make sure that we have the current DJI GO app installed so that we can go through the activation process. Your tablet or phone will need internet access to be able to, to go through this process. So make sure that uh, you've got it all set up on your Wi-Fi or wherever you're doing to have internet access. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run the DJI GO app here. We're going to start up the transmitter and then we're going to power up the copter. There we go. Now, as you can see, it says that we're connected and it wants us to activate the Phantom 4. So we're going to go ahead and go in. It wants us to give it a name. I'm going to call mine Phantom 4. Why not? Sounds legit. Go to the next. What mode do I want? I want mode 2. That's going to be standard for US operation. I'm going to say next. It's going to ask me if I want to customize the buttons here and you can see the different options that are available here. So I'm going to have one set for camera up and down and the other one set to my camera settings. I'll go ahead and say next. Do I want metric or imperial? I want imperial and NTSC. Do I want beginner mode or not? Well, nah, we're going to skip beginner mode. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. If this is your first time flying a copter like this, you probably want to stick to beginner mode because it's going to limit the speed and the distance that the copter can fly away from you. So it's going to keep it a little more under control. So I do highly recommend beginner mode when you're starting out. You can always turn it off in the app later. I'm going to go ahead and go to next. It's going to ask me to sign in or register. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my account here and hit activate. Activate successful and it's asking me to update the firmware. So go ahead and select that. So following the instructions on the screen here, we're going to pull out the adapter cable, connect the cables up together here and then plug this into the USB port on the side of the copter here. Just going to double check our orientation. It's asking me to download the firmware. All right, now it's done downloading and now it's starting the firmware upgrade process. Now that it's all finished up, we're going to go ahead and click on finish here. It's going to ask us to restart the device. So I'm going to turn it off. Take out the USB cable and I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this back up to the controller. Click on OK. Fire the copter back up again. And it says our aircraft is connected and we'll go ahead and go into the camera mode just to make sure. So now it says it's safe to fly in non-GPS because we're indoors and that's how you do the activation. So go ahead and click up here to see our unboxing video. Click down here to watch our IMU calibration and always click on the subscribe button below to subscribe to our channel. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.